The world is veiled in darkness, the wind stops, the sea is wild, and the earth begins to rot. The people wait, their only hope, a prophecy. When the world is in darkness, four warriors will come. After a long journey, four young warriors arrive, each holding an orb. Hello Troops and Toots, Gonda here and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy for the NES. Oh yes, I'm going there ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> now, Final Fantasy, everyone's heard of it, but a lot of people can be very picky on what Final Fantasies that they like. For me, I like them all, with the exception of 11, 14 and right now a realm reborn so anyone who likes a realm reborn sorry it does look like a good game but because of its because it's a subscription based game i'm not gonna get it but i'm gonna start with the classic final fantasy one for the nes now i have played the remakes of final fantasy one i have played this one but i've never finished it now if i wanted to i could have done the Game Boy Advance version, <clears throat> but if I'd done that, then I would have wanted to do Final Fantasy 3 for the DS, but the only problem, the DS emulators that I have, they, well, one of them runs all DS games really, really slow, and another one um, has crackly noises and maybe some bugs and glitches. So... I decided to go with the NES one because, well, this was the first one ever made. And in my opinion, Final Fantasy 1 is the true king of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 1, not the remakes, this one is the best. And don't try and argue with me, ladies and gentlemen, because you know I'm right, I know I'm right, even Square Enix knows I'm right. Okay? Some of you guys are going to go, no, Final Fantasy 7 is the best, Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 8. No, Final Fantasy 1 is the best, okay? Right, so now that we've got that out of the way, and now you guys know what my, uh, well, well, what I think is the best Final Fantasy, or should be King of Final Fantasy, <clears throat> let's get this game started, but before we do, we have something at the bottom there called Respond Rate. Now, we can't actually select it via up or down, instead we need to use left and right. Now, what Respond Rate does is that it actually, um, it depends on how fast the text goes by in a battle. So I'm going to go with 4, okay? I don't want it going too fast, otherwise you guys can't see it. But I don't want it going too slow, otherwise it's, it's going to take forever, okay? So how high does it go? 8, so yeah, 4 is enough, okay? Just half. So, let's start a new game. Now, here is our character selection. There are 6 characters we can choose. We can have a fighter who is all physical attack and good defence. A thief who is good at agility, but for some strange reason, this thief cannot even steal. Have you ever noticed that? This is the only thief in Final Fantasy that just cannot steal. Imagine that, you know? I'm a thief! Can, can, can you steal anything? No. So that's a shame in it. The Black Belt is, um, again, physical attacker. He's not as strong as the fighter, but, um, he is very good at, well, not having weapons anyway. Your, your red mage is a cross between physical attacker, white mage and black mage. He's got slightly more attack than the monk, I think, but slightly less attack than the fighter. He can learn both black and white magic, but he can't learn a high level black and white magic spells. White mage, low attack, but uh, I think... Um, it's spirit, I think, for white mages. That will help increase their spells, so they're all at cure and healing and stuff. And the black mage is, I think, intelligence. I don't know what it is, if it's spirit for black mage and intelligence for white mage, or intelligence for black mage and spirit for black mage. But black mage is your attack magic caster, like fire, thunder and all that, and negative status effect person. So, we're going to choose four characters. Now, obviously, 
unless um, unless of course if you want a challenge but I'm not gonna have any any challenges so my four characters will be a fighter we shall start off with a fighter now this uh, Final Fantasy you can only have four letters for each character name so unfortunately Virtus the legendary uh, guy himself that well the legendary Gondor 1990 mascot um, he will not appear in this unfortunately if I was doing the Dawn of Souls version or the PSP or the PS1 version then yes he would appear there but unfortunately no so if you're a Virtus fan on the Gondor 1990 channel he won't be appearing here but I have already thought of four names that I can name my characters okay so I, I didn't want to spend ages uh, picking names on screen so for the fighter we will name him we will name him Jack now there is no end on the uh, letter or number selection screen so you want to come here uh, just below the T and then select that my next character is going to be the black belt because that way I will be saving money on um, weapons for him because I'm such a cheapskate and his name will be Eddie next we're going to have a white mage because I definitely need a healer and the white mage name is going to be Kara because the white mage is usually classed as a female but if you want to you can have it as a male name but I'm not sexist we need female characters in here and finally a black mage and we're gonna call the black mage Glenn so there we go and for anyone who is interested um, I named the fighter Jack after um, Jack Skellington or Jack Sparrow or whatever I named the black belt Eddie after Eddie from Ed Ed and Eddie I named the white mage Kara after the character Kara from White Knight Chronicles and I named the black mage Glenn after the real name of Frog from Chrono Trigger even though I think that Glenn has two ends but well this is gonna have to do so whenever you're ready hit the start button and prepare to join me into the world of Final Fantasy <laughs> that rhymed and here we are in all this 8-bit gloriness so as you can see there's a town straight up there but before we go there let's hit the start button so this is our pause menu or um, inventory kind of menu now as you can see we're all level 1 uh, Jack has 35 HP Eddie has 33, Kara has 28 and Glenn has 25 we have no orbs activated which is represented by the four balls indicated on the top left hand corner of the screen our money is below that 400 gil or back in the NES it was gold but just to keep in tradition with Final Fantasy I'm gonna uh, still call it as gil it's not pronounced gel okay gel is, spe is spelt with a J, okay because there have been one or two let's players who I've watched and they've called gel as sorry gil is gel gel is spelt with a J, okay you know gil g-i-l that's how you pronounce it like uh, like gil grissom from CSI okay so it's gil so here we have our items we have no items magic um no one well jack and eddie can't learn magic at the moment i don't in fact you know what i'm pretty sure eddie can't learn magic at this in fact yeah eddie cannot learn magic at all but my fighter um at some point in the game well for those of you who've played final fantasy one we'll be able to upgrade our character classes and I'm pretty sure the fighter can learn basic white magic spells so I'll just check uh, okay right so yeah he doesn't have any he doesn't even have any MP weapons we have no weapons so we are completely uh, bare yes yeah, sorry about that. trade we can uh, trade weapons and equipment with other characters and drop well we just get rid of it 
but I would advise uh, selling any unwanted stuff instead of dropping it. Armor, that's just the same as weapons. And our status. So, we need 40 EXP to... Oops, sorry about that. Pushed the wrong button. We need 40 EXP for um, a level up. The fighter has 20 strength, 5 agility, 1 intelligence, 10 vitality, and 5 luck. Strength is obviously your physical attack. Agility is, I think, how well you can evade attacks. Intelligence is your strength to cast magic. Vitality is your health, I think. And luck, I think, is to deal with critical hits. Um, your damage, I think, depends on your well, damage, I guess. So, I, th I could be wrong, but I think I would do 10 points of damage. Your hit percentage, well, I think it depends on uh, how well you will hit. Absorb, I don't know what absorb is. I think it's something to do with magic or something. And evade percentage is how well you, or your percentage to evade attacks. Okay. So, let's check the status of edit. So, there you go. Okay, now the only bad thing is that when you leave, like this screen, see how that among Kara's status screen, when I leave, the cursor goes straight back to item, which is kind of annoying. That's why I'll, I like the up to date ones, because um, I think whatever you were on, the cursor goes back to that. Okay, so uh, going back to magic, um, remember I said something about intelligence and spirit? I was wrong. Um, as you can see, there's only intelligence, so um, Glenn has 20 intelligence. And Kara has 15, so it's only just in intelligence, okay? So, anything that I said about spirit, you know, don't, um, you know, don't get on to me about it, okay? So, now, if I wanted to, I could get into a fight, but, well, there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, win it, because I've got no equipment. So, this is Corneria, the dream city, Okay? I absolutely love Corneria, it's got one of the best BGMs in, in this game, I think. Ariel on the Dancer. Wash your face. Well, we have been travelling a lot. So yes, towns, this is where we'll go to gather info and buy stuff. So let's go buy stuff, shall we? So this is the weapon shop. <clears throat> we're we're going to buy stuff. Now here's a wooden staff, a small dagger, wooden nunchuck, a rapier and an iron hammer. We're going to buy a rapier for Jack. Okay, now, if that, now, when I first played this, all this didn't even make any sense. But I ended up learning, so if you just follow along about the buy screens, then you will learn. First, you want to go to buy. Pick what you want. So, I want a wooden nunchuck. Okay, yes. And you want to give it to Eddie. Now, as soon as you hit confirm over the character, that's when the transaction will happen. Okay? And there you go. Now I want a small dagger or a small knife. And I want to give it to Glenn. And I want a iron hammer. And I want to give it to Kara. Okay? Now, we've just bought these, but unfortunately they're not equipped. So we're going to have to go into weapons, equip and equip each one of them. Now, whenever you see an E next to it, that lets you know that they are equipped. Okay, now we've got a means to attack, but we need something to actually block any damage. So, we're gonna go here. We're gonna buy a chainmail for Jack. We're gonna buy wooden armor for Eddie. And we're going to buy a cloth for Kara and a cloth for Glenn. Now the only bad thing is that you cannot buy in bulk, okay? You've got to buy things separately. So we go to the armor, select equip and press the confirm button over each. And there we go. Now we have the means to defend ourselves. But we're still not done yet. Here is the magic shops. But we're going to have to deal with those in the next video because we're going to need some white magic which is the house to the right to heal ourselves and there's the black magic house which we'll need for magic attacks so I'll see you guys then